How tall is Mount Everest? Let's ask ChatGPT. Let's do a search. Well, there we go. Found the answer. So we can use AI to do searches. Most of you have all used Google to search, but of course now we can use AI. And we found a clear winner. Yes, I'm gonna tell you what that is at the end. In this video, we're going to compare YouTube search with ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot. I've got four search items we're going to use. We're going to compare the results and declare a winner. Stick around. It's really interesting. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand technology and this AI stuff. This is part of a series I'm making on understanding AI for the over 50. This is episode six, and it is all about using AI to search. So I'll put the link for the playlist below in the description and a link to the other five videos that we've made. This will be a 10 part series. So you know how you can keep informed of the new videos. That's right, that like and subscribe. So let's get started with our four examples I discussed earlier. So I've done a search on how tall is Mount Everest in Google. So let's have a look what it comes up with. You'll see here uh, on my screen uh, that I'm in the Google um, browser. This is my search and Mount Everest is 8,849 meters tall. You'll see on the right hand side. So it gives me the information right here. It gives me a few pictures of Mount Everest. As I come down here, it gives me some other mountains and it tells me immediately uh, how tall it is. Now I'm now in ChatGPT and we're going to do the same search. Remember, we're going to be using ChatGPT as our search engine and trying to see how tall Mount Everest is. So let's have a look and see what we find. So you'll see the results are very accurate. Mount Everest is 8,848.86 meters. And this is the information that we get compared to the Google search. Let's see what we do in Gemini. Now I'm in Gemini. I've typed in uh, how tall is Mount Everest. Let's see what we get. Again, we get um, the, the height of um, Mount Everest, as well as some sources and related uh, content. Uh, this gives you us a Wikipedia article, and this gives you a Britannica uh, article here. So we have two related content. This, so this is what you get with the Gemini search. Let's see what Copilot has to say. Here we are in uh, Copilot. I've typed in the bottom, how tall is it? Is Mount Everest. So let's see, uh, let's see what we get. Um, so how tall is Mount Everest? Uh, again, it gives us inf information uh, about my, Mount Everest. Uh, is there a particular reason you're curious about Mount Everest? And it gives us some options here as well. So this is what you get if you search for the information in Copilot. All right, as we look at ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot, they all gave us a direct answer. ChatGPT and Copilot summarized additional details such as history of measurements and climbing info. Gemini provide links to Google sources as well. But I still think Google was clear and concise, provided some extra sources for me and gave me some pictures. It just felt that the, the information I got was a little bit better. Your choice, you can have a look at that, but that's my opinion so far. Let's try again now. All right, we're back in my Chrome browser and we're gonna change the search now. And I'm going to ask, what are the best laptops for video editing? And let's have a look. Well, I've typed this in my Google search. And guess what? Now we're seeing sponsored ads come up. So the first search, of course, is for Dell. And it's going to give me the high performance laptops. The second search is Best Buy. So we're now starting to see ads coming up at the beginning. And then we come down, of course, and we can see PC Magazine laptops for video editing in 2025, some information for us. 
and as we come down here we'll see more references but the first two will of course will be ads as the ads start to appear in our Google search all right so let's see what happens with chat GPT chat GPT let's have a look what are the best laptops for video editing now here we get a longer narrative this could be a little more interesting um, when choosing a laptop for video editing, and it's recommending the Apple MacBook Pro, the Dell XPS 17, as we come down, the Asus uh, machine, Lenovo, and it's making some suggestions for us as it's uh, giving some information. Uh, then it comes down how to choose a video editing laptop, and it gives us some information. So this gives us a little bit more information, I think, than the Google search. I'm quite quite excited with this. I think this is is useful information. All right, <laughs> Gemini. What is the best laptop for video editing? Key factors to uh, to uh, key factors to consider. And then coming down, it's going to give us some information here. Sort of like this, the top laptop recommendations. It summarizes this nicely, gives important notes. This is uh, I like this. This is clear and concise and gives me the information um, right like I would want it. So this is infra so this is good. Uh, let's see what Copilot does. All right, Copilot, what is the best laptop for video editing? All right, let's see what it says. Uh, it gives me the uh, pics right at the top. Um, and it says, um, gives me concise information. Uh, it gives me a selection of laptops. Each of these laptops have powerful processors. And it gives me some um, references, uh, PC Magazine, PC World, and Doc University uh, for information. All right, this is a personal choice for me. I like Gemini. I thought that the uh, the concise uh, information that it gave me was very helpful. So if I had to vote on it, I would choose Gemini as my best search results on that topic. All right, back in Google search. And let's say how to bake a chocolate cake. Let's do a Google search on that and see what we come up with. So Google search is going to give us uh, three recipes. It's going to give us these three recipes here. Um, comes down to all recipes. It's going to give me uh, some videos on how to bake a, a chocolate cake, um, how to bake a uh, chocolate cake step by step. Um, and it's going to give me some information here. So this is the information we'd get. Uh, on a Google search. Let's see how ChatGPT does. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, it gives us the ingredients as we come down and it'll show us uh, for the cake all the things that we need. Um, it's going to give us chocolate frosting. Ooh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about this. Uh, chocolate frosting, it's going to tell us instruction how to prepare the cake batter, bake the cake, uh, making the frosting, assemble the cake, and tips for success and of course you can uh, copy these print them edit them whatever you want uh, but looks sort of cool to me would you like any modifications like a gluten-free or dairy-free version okay let's see what gemini has to say so this is a bit interesting um, baking is a delicious chocolate cake can be a rewarding experience key elements for a great chocolate cake general steps combine dry ingredients so on and so forth um and then it's going to give us uh, some recommendation on certain websites where we can go and find a recipe hmm all right and uh, i hope this information is helpful but it actually didn't give me a recipe certainly wasn't as much information as chat gpt 
I wonder what Copilot will do. Let's have a look. Okay, um, Copilot, how to bake a chocolate cake. That was pretty quick. Um, it did give us a recipe. It gave us uh, the ingredients. Uh, it gave instructions uh, on how to bake it. Uh, optional frosting. Uh, pro tip, try to add a pinch of espresso powder to the batter. So that was good. Uh, let's uh, wrap it up and see which one we like the best. So which one did I prefer? <laughs> so it really depends on what you're looking for. If you uh, did a Google search, it gave us some um, uh, YouTube videos to watch to make a cake, and I'm sure they're very good. Um, I think out of the three uh, AI, they I think that ChatGPT gave me the most information in, in a way that I would use it. I'd probably bake, bake that recipe. Uh, it gave me some alternatives. I thought it was a really good summary of how to bake a chocolate cake. So my vote would go to the ChatGPT. All right, for our last example, I want to use a current event or a news story. So I've asked Google search, what's the latest on the SpaceX Starship launch? And this is what it came up with. As you can see, there it talks about some top stories uh, from US Today, from CBC, the New York Times, and CNN. So if you wanted to find out the latest in a SpaceX Starship launch, Again, top news stories is going to give you some pretty good information. All right, we're now in chat GPT. What is the latest on the SpaceX Starship launch? Let's see what it gives us. Searching the web. Here's the information. So it's going to give us um, on March 6, 2025. So that's seems to be pretty current explosion falling debris um, and then of course it gives us some further information and uh, references here so this is what you would get on chat gpt so we're now in gemini let's see what it has to say what's the latest on the spacex starship launch so let's have a look and see what uh, it says recent test flight uh, problems ultimately uh, failed, uh, impacts, uh, summaries, and some references. In essence, while SpaceX has made progress with the super heavy booster, challenges remain. Um, so it did find all the latest information and it did give some references uh, at the bottom here for you for further information. So let's look at the final AI that we're going to do the search in. And that, of course, is Copilot. What's the latest on the SpaceX Starship launch? And this is in Copilot. Let's see what it has to say. What's the latest? Uh, let's have a look and see what it says. Uh, SpaceX's latest Starship launch on March 7th ended in another explosion. The, the spacecraft lost contact and mission control. Uh, and then it gives some articles. If we click CBC, ABC News, it will come up uh, with a result. So uh, this gave us a synopsis, pretty small synopsis compared to the other ones. And this was uh, Copilot. So which wins out? Well, if you need real-time updates, Google search usually wins hands down. AR chatbots aren't always updated in real time, making them less reliable for breaking news. But again, it depends on what your preferences are. You saw the results. It really is your choice. All right, in summary, what is the clear winner? Well, it depends on what you're searching for and it depends on your preferences. So the clear winner is gonna be on what you decide. And my advice is to try them. Try different scenarios, different search patterns, and you'll find one that you like. So give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And I think it's a good alternative to a Google search. So it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and had as much fun watching it as I did making it. Till we meet again, have a great day. And don't forget that like and subscribe and we'll notify you when episode 
7, 8, 9, and 10 is made. Bye now.